good day, my dear friends and colleagues. You're going to walk with me as I do this together with you. Okay, so this is Tracy Brown, and we are going to do some of the comfort and the chaos stuff that I do for myself personally. And so one of them is to come out into this lovely Everglades morning. And before I talk more about clients and things like that, I just want to walk you through what I'm going to do right now, which is check on my my plants, which are looking pretty good this morning. Again, I'm growing tomatoes, peppers, carrots, broccoli. That's it right now. Um, I probably do plan on growing probably some different kinds of potatoes and um, maybe some butternut squash later, this whatever too. So anyway, you're part of my comfort routine this morning. I'm glad to have you with me. So with our clients, I would wonder if you want to comment below what are you noticing is comforting your clients the most right now? You know, what is the comfort in the chaos? So for many of my people, I have you know two separate groupings, as you can imagine. People who really, really struggle with like not restricting based on um, just fears of weight gain. And so that can be all sizes and shapes of clients, of course. But especially my more chronic um, restricting type clients, they definitely really struggle with the yield, like slowing down, assessing their needs, like actually acknowledging what they want and, you know, working through do they even feel entitled to have it. You know, one type client I can think of in particular right now um, because of our attachment issues, I mean, she just needs tons of reassurance that it's okay to slow down and eat her whole meal plan. You know, and I have her on a very loose meal plan only because she doesn't really follow meal plans anyway, but she really needs, I mean, in my ideal world, I would live with her or she would live with me and I would feed her six times a day and cuddle up with her in a blanket probably and like rock her to look, it's okay. You can feel these sensations and she would cry and cry and cry. And I know that's what would happen and I know that's what she needs, but since I can't give that to her right now. And even in a typical situation, I can't give that to her. What can I give her is lots of reassurance. Like, oh, of course, like I, what I need you to do is get in your blanket and have your hot water pad on your adrenals and snuggle up to each meal six times a day, every day, and not do anything else, any other task until that meal or snack is done. So essentially she needs just like a lot of directive, which typically who of us as adults want to give directives to other like other adults, we don't want to, right? But that's the chaos, that's the calm in her chaos right now. For another client, it would be like, I need to move away from all like meal plans and exchanges and even plate method and I just need to eat the food. So really, again, we're doing lots of reassurance. Like, wait a minute, you are the co-dietitian with me. What do you think needs to happen? And what does that part of you that has a hard time taking that in need? Again, it's just this reminder you know, I've been through 30 years, the years of restriction and, you know, what I need is just like a straight shooter. Let me know that they've got my back against the bullies. And that's the calm and the chaos that that client needs. Another client, you know, maybe is struggling with, um, just really struggling to feel any kind of comfort and feeling settled and what this client needs is just a know it's okay to need to eat and to feel that something's there for them. But really, really pay attention. Is it filling that hole? And if not, what can we do to fill that hole? It's like, it's simply like being seen and heard more often. So can you get these clients more to just email you, even if you don't respond back to it, that they see you. The thing you're, that I've been noticing, if you're providing that for your clients, is that make sure that that it doesn't feel like a burden to you because they're very hungry for feeling seen and heard and not invisible and their needs being important and their feelings being important however their their experience in early life was that their needs were a burden because somebody had to like they were too busy with their own stuff and they were kind of like dismissed or like made to feel like their needs are too much. And so it's really important that you're very, very clear that this is how it's gonna work and here's the expectation. So I'm sure you're all doing that, but I just wanna give you some really gentle reminders of what's helpful. 
And I want to hear from you, actually, what's comforting you right now? So if anybody did not see my live that I did yesterday on my regular Tracy Brown RD page, the first thing I said was, I'm so sorry, y'all. I am 30 minutes late for this video because my daughter and I both kind of had a meltdown about homeschool. It was a hard day. It was hard getting into the swing things on Monday. It was her birthday. I think she just wanted to, to chill out. But, you know, we do our homeschool kind of, we're week three of like full on um, work and assignments and stuff that needs to get done. Now, of course, we can get it done in way less time because there's less distractions because of, you know, classroom stuff. But, you know, it was still hard getting going. And so we both had tears and, you know, we're going to have bad days like that. You know, we're going to have worries. Am I, is the phone ever going to ring again? And so what I'm doing to comfort myself in those things is to make sure I get outside and, you know, check on my little garden here. And my tomatoes lived. So that's good. They're babies. They're only four, four inches high and they're doing good. So I, I check on these things. What else do I do to comfort myself? <sighs> is to keep writing and to keep talking to you all whether you respond to me or not, because I know that maybe, just maybe, that it's hard to take in more information and, and maybe it feels too overwhelming to learn new things and you're just trying to get through your day-to-day -to -day too, and that's okay. If you're hungry for more though and you have the space, you know, please reach out to me and let me know like, hey, Tracy, you know, what are you doing to try to have the phone ring or what are you doing to support people in a non-icky kind of way in these really hard times because I know there's maybe, you know, this debate or whatever, like, are we supposed to offer things um, during this time of crisis? And the truth is that, like, I still need services. I'm still doing supervision right now. Um, my clients still need my services, and so do yours. And maybe we just have to get a little bit more creative and switch how we offer things. Like, maybe people need more meal support right now. Maybe people need 30 minute sessions instead of hours because they can't maybe do an hour session weekly. Maybe um, there's just something different than they need from you right now. And all you can do is ask. So ask the current clients you have. Email past clients that like maybe didn't work with you for whatever reason in the past. Or like maybe clients but potential clients. You know, if it was a cost issue, would a 30 minute session serve them better? Would a eating, you know, again, a meal session or a cooking demo will serve them better. Would just having somebody to review food journals the, for people that that's appropriate for, would that help them? Just to have some, like, someone to check in with. Because I think that's a lot of what we need right now is just to not totally feel like we're on our own islands. So those are some things that I'm kind of offering. Um, not even that hardcore right now because I'm just kind of, again, Still working on my own schedule, to be perfectly honest, with the homeschooling. So it has actually been more challenging than I thought that I thought I actually would have more time. I actually don't right now. I'm pretty busy, um, which has been good and probably a really good um, distraction from the uncertainty. But I also think it's just a blessing as well to um, still have my client senses up decent and I as I said like maybe you I I know this is week three I've probably dropped off about seven clients but I'm still at like a okay place and if you're not again know that maybe they just need to hear from you and maybe just offering hey I know this is a really hard time maybe for um, worry sake or um, um, financial sake but I am also offering you know something that maybe is a little more accessible maybe less often, but still some support. So be thinking about those things. If you're just in the place of like, I'm just kind of in a wait and see mode still, like so honor that. Um, I think sometimes um, we wait and see because yeah, for sure we don't really know how we're doing and that's okay. Or it's just that we don't know what we want to give to people. And so maybe that's what you spend some time waiting and seeing about. I was like, what are you noticing people seem to need? And um, again, 
how can we offer it and offer it in the most loving, supportive way possible and still in the relationship um, mode, building mode, way of marketing that I espouse. So anyway, a bunch of stuff is coming up real soon that I have thought about. I'm going to be doing some really fun, I think, like cooking demos with somebody who does this online. I'm so excited. I'm going to get that scheduled here soon. The um, non-diet counseling skills course, the self-study version is on sale right now till April 19th at just two payments of $249. Um, regularly, if you do that live with me, it's $2,100. If you do the online version, not on sale, it's $9.90. So this is a really good time. Each, each week has at least four hours of like instruction and content. And it's, again, there's no rush through it, of course. You could just do one hour a week and this could last you six months. It could be really awesome. But I have um, recorded demo sessions. I have forms and worksheets and like literally this is what I want you to do and say if XYZ happens. And this is your foundation on non-diet counseling and unpacking and decoding skills work. It's the stuff that I learned in the first year as a nutrition therapist. And so um, what I think is really valuable about this course is that I just do a lot of hands-on stuff. I'm a very experiential teacher. And so, yeah, I have a good bit of, of you know, material, but it's just really back-and-bound material. I'm not really even teaching and coaching that much on the material. I'm just like, okay, here's the material, questions about it, let's actually dig in to the how. I'm more of a like a how-to kind of person, and so that's what I teach. So if you're interested in that, you can um, email me more about it. You can also check the link below. And then lastly, if you have some ideas that you want to run by me, put them in the group. What are some ways in which you see people needing calm from the chaos and what are you doing and let's talk about it i'm happy to add more of my own ideas here as well so thank you all so much for watching being here with me i want to support you and what you're doing and lastly if you are on the mindful dietitian page with fiona sutherland um, just want to make sure you know that today at 5 p.m eastern i'm going to be i think you have to sign up for this on her mindful dietitian page um, facebook group um, i'm going to be on with her interviewing today. And she and I always have really good conversations because she loves the somatic work just as much as I do. And so who knows what's gonna happen in this conversation because we always end up going really deep. So I'm pretty excited about it. I'm sure we'll talk about polyvagal theory. Um, I'm gonna t I really wanna talk about um, when people are in and out of their window of tolerance up and down and the cycling and how that impacts um, especially with people's digestions. I think that's really, really valuable for these times. Um, anyway, so you're going to hear a lot of stuff that I, you know, the kind of skimming the surface of a lot of topics that I do in, in um, my trainings and supervision as well. So you can get a little taste of that there. But I think that's it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. And I know Fiona's going to do a recording if you can't catch it live. Um, she did tell me first thing this morning, there's at least 70 people signed up and I think the limit's 100. So if you haven't already signed up, I think go to her page and you can do that there as well. So I would love to talk to you all, hear from you, get questions from you. And um, again, if you miss it live, if you have questions about it, you can ask on the Mindful Dietitian page. You can ask over here on this decoding skills page as well. So anyway, <sighs> thank you for being here. And if you have questions or concerns about business, practice supporting yourself in these uncertain times, supporting your clients, I'm really here to help. All right, so thank you all so much and bye till next time.